everybody welcome to the channel this morning we're gonna go down and see dr. Bill down at AEM and uh, make some adjustments to the tune throwing on the, uh, the 3.47 pulley we need to add a little bit more fuel back into it and uh, do a couple street pulls make a couple adjustments and then uh, have that thing dialed in and ready for a streetcar takeover We'll throw some new tires on there, on the rear, some new Mickey Thompson Pros. Uh, 275, 6015s, small tire. I'm sure I could hook a little bit better with a bigger tire, but for for the stuff I wanna do, and for the price, those Mickey Thompsons are a good price, and they last, they do really well. So I think I burned mine up pretty good after the last no prep deal. I left a lot of rubber on the road, so I'm sure they're they're pretty toast. So I'll show up streetcar with some, with some new tires, and hopefully that helps me stay a little bit longer in the stick shift class, we'll see. So taking my little one to, uh, to preschool right now. Say hi, boss. Hi. And, uh, and then we're gonna head over to see Dr. Bill. Yeah, I think I'm in the wrong car. Let me switch this up. That's better. Now we're in the real car. Get this thing set up. Get over to, uh, See, uh, see Bill over there at AEM. Get this thing dialed in. Over here at uh, Dr. Bill's shop, AEM. He's gonna help me swap this pulley off, do a couple changes on the uh, on the tune because it's gonna be a little bit lean. Home got the pulley off of here, thanks to Bill over at AEM again. Always help me out when I need help. Um, got the uh, 3.47 inch pulley. The Vortec one is on there. I'm rolling this other pulley, trying to get this thing off here. Looks like I put a little bit too much, uh, a little bit too much of the Loctite on the bolt when I put it on last time. Maybe it weeped out a little bit onto the shaft, and uh, just destroyed my pulley. My pulley getting this thing off of here. So I guess it means no more going slow. This was the uh, 81 mil or 91 mil. Sorry, this is 3.6 inch pulley. This is what we put on to go run the uh, the track just to get used to the car and everything, turn it down. Uh, this was the uh, 85 mil. This is one we had on when we tested it, when we tuned it, 3.3 inch. So we have the 3.47 inch in there now. The Vortec one fits on there, fits on there real good. It is a lot harder to get on here though because it has a higher lip. Scratch that up, but whatever. So 3.47 pulley on there now, unfortunately. We didn't have time to adjust the tune. We definitely need to add more fuel to it. It's uh, it's definitely gonna be lean, so I'm not gonna get on it tonight. There's a good meet to go to, Thursday night meet, so I'm gonna head down there, check out some cool cars. Probably the best meet in Arizona, at least in the uh, in the Phoenix area. It keeps getting shut down, the driver mod meet. Um, people always do stupid stuff, man. They'll come I do burnouts, the trucks will come do donuts, people sit there and rev and try to two-step their, their Hondas or whatever they're running, but Somebody always has a way to burn it down and make it make it get shut down. So they opened up to a new spot. And uh, so I'll head down there tonight. It's Thursday and uh, see how it's going. I had to adjust the ride height on this thing a little bit. I'm actually run, rubbing the liners up under there. So just to the ride height, made a little bit of adjustment on the exhaust to get them, to get them perfect. They weren't quite, they weren't quite there. And got my drum in the daily. I will probably take that out tomorrow, go fill that thing up. We're looking at about E85, E90 at our spot. So I'll go out there and fill that thing up tomorrow. So um, off to the meet here in just a little bit. All right, everybody got the sweet, sweet approval from the lady to, uh, to go out and check out the meet tonight. There's a meet down in Tempe. It's usually a really good meet. Uh, been shut down a while back. People always being stupid, doing burnouts and all that shit there. So they keep having to move locations. But the dudes at Driver Mod Industry, um, they uh, 
they moved that spot, got that stuff squared away, got a new location for us to go hang out. Um, it's it's the best meet in town by far. As long as everybody keeps their keeps themselves in order. So I'm gonna go down there. I got the pulley changed, but uh, no new tune yet. So if I get on it hard, it's gonna run lean, and I'm not gonna risk that. So I will uh, go get some video, check out some people, see if we get some sweet cars down there. Filling up my fuel for the house. Something, something just popped into my head that I keep thinking about. <clears throat> when you get, I don't know if it happens around the country anywhere else too, but around here, man, it seems like every time somebody has an issue with their car, it's the tune. Something happened with the tune. Something changed. Well, guys, the tune doesn't change. It doesn't alter itself. When it's on, it's on. So you start having problems with drivability start having issues with, with startups, whatever. <clears throat> what changed with the car? What, what happened? Did your plugs go bad? Did you foul one? Do you have a burnt spark plug wire? Is your math sensor dirty? I mean, those are things you gotta maintain, especially higher mileage cars. If you don't keep up on maintenance, you're gonna have problems. That's just how it is. Even low mileage cars, you can burn things. We alter stuff, we mod things so much that you never know, things are gonna happen. But I don't envy being a tuner. I don't care what tuner you are, but you constantly have to prove that your tune isn't the problem. So keep up on your maintenance. Quit blaming the tuners. Keep up on your car. Math sensors get dirty. Things change on, on it mechanically, but the tune doesn't change. Pretty easy stuff. <laughs> 